Spring has sprung and Small Scale Farms in Allenburg is on a mission to grow as much food as possible to help those in need. The last couple of years I've had to um, take care of my soil and that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to because I'm on a piece of land that previously grew fruits and vegetables that were conventionally grown, so fertilizers, pesticides, this sort of thing. So I had always grown on fresh land. I had never actually tried to rehabilitate my soil before. So that actually threw me for a couple years worth of uh, delay, I guess you could say. And now, this year, because we've just put so much organic matter into the soil, we've even changed the constitution from clay to like a black earth. So I'm confident that we can grow a lot of food. That's my main goal. The other goal is to make sure that people understand what I'm doing. So a lot of education. We're launching the farm school this year and trying to get people updated for themselves on how to grow food, but also why it's so important to support local farms. For those who are struggling, the farm offers a pay what you can service for customers on Saturdays. The people that come in and, and tell us the stories of, of how hurting they are, that part is an obstacle for my heart because I want to be able to find a way to help them. But it's not looking good. Rent is through the roof. They can't afford the groceries. There's nothing really I can say to them as in terms of, you know, how can I help? I'm like, well, this is how I can help. I can, I can give you food. I can give you discounted food and I can make sure that food's healthy. Small Scale Farms is also going to be offering classes for those who wish to grow and can their own food. The basis of farm school is homesteading. So if you have even just a house with a backyard, you can still be a homesteader. And homesteading just means being more as self-sufficient as possible. If you're canning and preserving your food, then you will get the nutrients that you need in the winter as well. For me, it would be nice to get everyone homesteading because then you can feed yourself. So I'd like to educate people as to what it takes to raise chickens, what it takes to raise milk and goats. Those types of things are going to be really important in the future, especially as access to food decreases. But not only that, access to nutritional food decreases. We're in a unique position here that I buy from local farmers. I know who's growing what, so I, ha I have the unique position to be able to grow what I know I can't access. And I also am in the position to grow, say, a purple heirloom carrot that has a high perceived value versus an orange carrot, right? So I'm going into those heirloom and funky kind of vegetables, and then I have access to other people that are growing still at a decent price. I'm not paying grocery store prices, right? We're talking farmer directly to small-scale farms. So now when you combine that, I have multiple farmers contributing to the produce bag. And we also have a, a CSA where I can go to those local farmers and put entirely local into your bag for the, the endurance of the summer.